So some time ago on the channel, we talked about Flow Numpad, and that was a way that you could get your numpad on your regular typing keyboard. It was handy if you were using a laptop and you didn't have a numpad, or you're traveling and you didn't have your full-size keyboard with you. So today we're gonna to talk about another way to do that called Virtual Extending Keyboard. The advantage of this one is it does not require you to have Keyboard Maestro. What's going on, voiceover warriors and keyboard ninjas? This is the Oreo Monster welcoming you back to Logic.Band, a site full of tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you as a blind Logic voiceover macOS and GarageBand user. If you haven't yet, type Logic.Band into your web browser, and when you land there, sign up for the mailing list so you can get a free getting started with Logic course. All right, so I got the virtual extended keyboard page here. It's a GitHub page. This is thanks to the same person that did Flow Numpad, Flow Tools, started Flogic, and of course we can't forget VOCR. And I'm gonna interact with this page here. In GitHub, Chicken slash virtual extender keyboard, web content, link. Skip to content, link. So we're on Chicken's GitHub page here. Quick nav off, quick nav on. And if I turn quick nav on. Heading level one, four items, link. Chig, heading level two, latest commit. Heading level two, git stats. Heading level two, files. Heading level two, link, readme MD. So if we jump to the readme, a new general public license virtual extended keyboard v0.1.0 link and then i just use l to jump to the link so i'll put a link to this page in the description so go ahead and click on that to come over to this page and then jump by head until you get to the readme and then if you press l to jump by link twice then you'll be able to see the download link so i'm going to go ahead and download this cancel toggle button do you want to allow downloads on github you can allow toggle button let me just view right over to allow, view space on that. Link, virtual extended keyboard v0.1.0. So I'm just going to do command option L to show my downloads. Show download, two items, clear downloads, button, clear, button, auto clear down downloads, table, no selection. View right over to downloads table and interact with this. In downloads, table, virtual extended keyboard v0.1.0 dot zip, selected. If I interact with this. In virtual extended 4.6 MB, show in finder, button. And view right, there's a show and finder button, so view space. Finder, downloads, window, column view, browser, one item selected. Virtual extended keyboard v0.1.0 dot zip, group. All right, so command down arrow to open this since it didn't automatically unzip it for me. Open selection, archive, finder, virtual extended keyboard, window, column view, browser, one item selected. Now we have that folder, so I'm just going to tap the right arrow. List, one item selected, license, document. To go into the folder, I am in columns view in finder. So that's why I was able to just press right arrow. So if that didn't work for you, you may have to press command for you to go into columns view first. So we have a license. Virtual extended keyboard app, application. And a virtual extended keyboard app. So we want to copy this. Copy virtual Let's extended see. keyboard app. Let's do command shift A to go to applications folder. Applications, list, one item selected. Airfoil, folder. Oops, I'm going to move down. Ampkit app, application. That airfoil is a folder, so you don't want to paste there or paste into the folder. So I'm going to command V to paste this. Paste item. All right, there we go. And now if I just start typing virtual through the- Virtual app. extended keyboard app, application. There we go. So now I found the application in my application folder. I'm going to press command down arrow again to launch this. Open selection, application, alert, system dialog. Virtual extended keyboard app is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Safari Let's downloaded this, open, default, button. Go over open. Finder, applications, window. Virtual extended keyboard app, application, system, has new, system dialog. So the first time you launch it, you're going to get a notification that you need to allow it. If you don't see it like I didn't see it here, you can just press VOF1 twice quickly to see the list of running applications. Find application chooser menu, four items. System dialogs, menu. Go down to system dialogs, VO right arrow. S accessibility access, events, from universal access off warn. There we go. And that's the one we're looking for. So I'm going to VO space on that. Accessibility access, events, system dialog, open system preferences, button. Open system preferences. Find system preferences, search text field, blank. And Auto let's toolbar. get out of there. Um, we don't need to be in the search field. So I just stop interacting to get out of the toolbar. Security and privacy. General, tab, one of four. And I'm going to jump to the bottom of this window with VON. Help button, advanced, click the lock to make changes button. And I just VO left over to where it says click the lock to make changes. So I'm going to VO space on that. Help button. In dialog, use password. Type in your Help password button. or use your fingerprint to unlock it. Advanced, click the lock to prevent further changes button. And click the lock now, to prevent further, remove button, add button. Table, no selection. Allow the apps below to control your computer. 
Table. No zip in table. Yeah, AE server. Table. Uncheck Discord con- keyboard mic keyboard mic sound source virtual ex- VOCR app virtual extended keyboard app. Uncheck checkbox. There we go. Virtual extended keyboard. Virtual extended keyboard app. Check checkbox. Let's check that. All right. Now we can table. stop interacting with this table. I'm gonna jump to the end again with VO end. Help button. Advanced button. Click the lock to prevent further changes. Help button. Let's relock that. So I just VO left over to the lock button and then VO space to lock it. So now I'm gonna quit this with command Q. Finder applications with. We're back in Finder. Utilities. Virtual extended keyboard app. Applicate. All right. Command down arrow. Open selection. So now I'm going to press VOM twice quickly. Let's see if this is on a menu bar. Menu. Menu extras. Virtual extended keyboard. Menu extra. All right. Perfect. So now we got it running. So I'm going to go ahead and Finder. open applications. up text edit. All right. So I'm in a text edit here. And I just want to demonstrate how this works. So if we hold down the FN key and do UIO, that should be. Four. Five, six. Four, five, six. Four hundred fifty-six. If we do JKL while holding down FN. One, two, three. That's one, two, three. Four hundred fifty-six thousand one hundred twenty-three. And then if we do M. Four hundred period. Comma. Period. Backs backslash. Backslash backslash period. Comma. Period. Comma. M. If we do M comma and period, we get zero. Zero. Four million five hundred sixty-one thousand two hundred star star. Star. So FN and the comma is star. Period. Period. And FN and the period is the period on the numpad now if we do the semicolon fn semicolon equals we get the equal sign and if we do fn minus hyphen we get the minus sign and if we do fn equals plus 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 we get the plus sign so we get all the controls from the numpad right there on our keyboard the other cool thing is if we do it on the left side if you do fn1234 that's going to be f1234 if you do fn qwer that's going to be f5 6 7 and 8 if you do fn and a s d or f that's going to be f9 10 11 or 12 and if you do fm z x c or v that will be f16 17 18 or 19 let's jump into logic here now the cool thing about this virtual extended keyboard is if you remember in logic to pause you need to use a period on the numpad so what if you don't have a numpad now with the virtual extended keyboard if I do FN and period that will now act like the period on the numpad so if I need to pause press FN period two bars four beats two divisions ten ticks you see pauses press FN period again FN period and it pauses again and so now if you need to scrub you can do FN period to pause and then you can use comma and period on their own four, bar, four bars one b three four 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 bars one b two divisions 53 ticks to scrub through the audio I don't have sound while scrubbing turned on at the moment so that's why you're not hearing anything but you can use this now in logic to get your numpad key commands without having to have a full-size keyboard that's it for this tutorial thank you so much for checking this out don't forget to comment below if you have a tip or trick to share with the community. Like, share, and subscribe both to the YouTube channel and to the email list found at logic.band. That way you can get a free getting started with Logic course and I can keep you up to date on everything going on with logic.band. If you'd like to help keep tutorials like these coming to you, then please visit logic.band support and make a one-time or ongoing donation. If you'd love to go deeper on any of these topics, visit logic.band training and you can book some one-on-one -on -one session to cover any topics related to Logic, GarageBand, macOS, and VoiceOver. Links to all of these along with supplemental tutorials and blog posts can be found in the description below. And as always, until next time, happy recording.